at all, in this video, we're going to learn about assignment statements and constant variable. In previous video, you should have learned about data type. And then I have summarized the common data, uh, data type that we use in create simple programs like numbers, characters. All right, back to assignment statements. So usually if we know what is the value of the particular var variables, we may use assignment statements. For an example, over here, um, the syntax is data type. Data type we have followed with the variable name and then assigned value. So in this case, we use a symbol of assignment. This, this is not a symbol of equal. I know that in mathematics we call it equal, equal, but in programming we call it assignment. Let's say if you have a value of six, we have this uh, statements, okay, or expressions. Uh, we have integer input underscore value equal to six. So which means six is assigned to the input underscore value variables. Okay, we don't we don't call that input underscore value equal to six, but we call it assigned. Six is assigned to the input value. Thus, uh, you must understand data type before using the assignment statements. And here are a few examples. For an example, integers my underscore pen equal to seven. We assign seven into my pen. We assign the twelve to protons underscore my uh, underscore car. In this case, we didn't assign any value to the expenses underscore mine. One zero two point one two is assigned to expenses underscore daily, and the data type is float. And counter at eleven is assigned to the counter as integer. And in this case also may happen where counter plus two equal to counter. What does it mean here is our counter is 11. Initially, it is 11. This is the value. And then it is declared as integer. So you have to imagine that counter now is assigned with 11. When I call this expression counter equal to counter plus two, meaning that this counter is now 11. 11 plus two. So the new counter variable is actually having a value of 13. So these are the assignment statements and how it works. And then this is also another example, results equal to input underscore mark multiply five. So five multiply to the input underscore marks, and then this value is assigned to the results. So here's the question. <clears throat> what is this five about? If you have a very short program, probably you may recognize it. But if you have a very long program with maybe thousand of codings, line of codings, then when you refer back to your program, sometimes you may not know what is this five about. Also for this case, final underscore mark. And then marks multiply 0 0.40. So 0 0.40, what is this 0 0.40? We assume that if this is the input marks multiply with 0 0.40, and then we assign it to final underscore mark. So what is this 0 0.40? If if it is fixed number, if this is fixed number, fixed value, we would recommend you to use something called constant variables. Constant variables means that you don't have to change it all the time. You don't have to define all the time. You just have to define once on top of your uh, main program, and then you can use it throughout the whole program. So maybe five is represented by bonus underscore mark, and then 0 0.4 zero is assigned to final underscore exam underscore percentage. So this will be much more clear, at least when some days or other days when you want to refer back to your programs, you will know that, oh, this, this value five is actually referred to bonus mark. This value 0 0.40 is referred to final exam percentage. Okay, this could be a good practice for you. So how to do that? We use constant variable declarations, start with C O N S T cones, constant, follow with the data type, and then the variable name. Okay, so you have to remember that the variable name that you declare under constant, usually we will use capital letter, all capital letters to differentiate between a normal data type, oh sorry, a normal variables that you have declared and the constant variable. And then assignment to the assigned value. So back to this example, the results equal to results underscore mark multiply bonus underscore mark. So how are we going to change this? This will become um, not uh, we already changed this, so we are going to declare the bonus mark. So how to declare the bonus mark? We use cons, C O N S T. I apologize for the typo. C O N S T cons integer bonus underscore marks equal to five. Same case as final underscore exam. We declare as constant C O N S T integer 
final exam percentage 0 0.4. So in this case, if you are sure that this is 0 0.40, we use decimal point, integer is not suitable. We have to change it to float or double. I've prepared a simple program for you where I have declared float, mark, float, final exam, and I will see out the message, enter your mark, and then store it in the variable called mark, which is this one, as a float. And then I will calculate final mark equal to mark multiply with 0 0.40. So now our task is to change this 0 0.40 to a constant variable. Okay, and then we will continue with see out your final exam is so on. So we try to run, compound run. My marks maybe is 45.2. And I enter, it will show your final exam mark is 18.08. 45.2 multiply 0 0.40. So in order to change this 0 0.40 to the constant variable, we have to first give a name. A name. So probably this is referred to the final exam percentage or weightage is up to you this we have to declare as constant we have to declare as constant so usually when we declare as constants we will put outside of the main program in main void okay we declare here constant constant and then what is the variable data type uh, 0.4 right so we use float and then the name of the variables assignment 0 0.40 semicolons. So this is the um, difference between constant variable compared to the normal variable declarations. Where normal declarations, we put it in a program. We put it in the program itself or in the function itself. But if you have a constant, usually we will put on top of the program so that later on we can use the particular, these particular variables throughout the whole program. And now we try to run again, compile and run. I enter the marks, 45.2, enter, you will get 18.08. Okay, so I hope this example will help you to understand how to declare the constant variable and then where to put the constant variables, how to um, replace the values and then declare the constant variables in your program. Okay, thanks for watching this video.